Welcome to the Behind the Board on starting a recording session. So we're going to start a session from scratch. First thing you want to do is click on your Pro Tools application icon. It will launch up uh, this right here, your dashboard. So your dashboard will launch up uh, on Start Up. If it didn't, if it looks like this, you still have Pro Tools right up here in your menus. Go to File and just go Create New and that'll bring it up. So let's name this First Session. We're going to leave the file type at a dot wave, uh, which is what we want. Our sample rate is 44.1 kilohertz. Our bit depth is 24 bit, and we're going to just use the last used I.O. settings. Uh, you could always mess around with this, see uh, what things sound like if you took up the sample rate or uh, took up the bit depth. But CD quality is 44.1 kilohertz and 16 bits, so we're recording a little over CD quality at 24 bits, and we'd uh, bounce it down later, but we'll worry about that later. Let's create this. All right, so where to save to? This is our save dialog. I just want to save right on my desktop. You could also tag it and make it more easily searchable, but I'm just going to save it right there on the desktop. Great, so this is our window. It might have uh, launched a little different for you. Maybe it looked like this, a little smaller. So just grab the corner over here and you could just stretch this out like any other window to go ahead and cover your whole computer. Great. So. What we want to go over here when we start our session is how to make a track. Let's do that quickly. We'll go to Track, New, and here we are in our New Tracks dialog. I want to create the number of tracks, the type of track, uh, well, mono or stereo, uh, unless you're doing some surround sound type stuff. For us right now, mono or stereo. Um, what type of track right here is going to be audio, aux, input, master fader, MIDI, or instrument track? We're going to be working with the audio track first. We'll get to everything else there. Uh, so we want an audio track, and we're going to keep it in samples. It could be samples. It could be ticks. Uh, again, not important for right now. So we're going to do one mono audio track in samples. Let's create that. Great. And now we see right here it says audio one. Um, right now, since we have nothing, no interfaces attached. All we have is a built-in microphone as our in, and our ins are always over our outs. Our outs are coming out A1, A2 right now. It could say monitor, one, two, whatever it might be. It's coming out one and two, which are attacked, attached directly to your speakers. Uh, right now, since I have no interfaces, it's attached directly to my computer speakers. Uh, so let's rename this. Just double click on the name. Let's call it, uh, new track just so that we know how to name everything and it's not simple every time we name something all we have to do is double click and name it whatever we want um, so let's hit the record button here and you could hear me all right so that's probably going to sound weird because you got me through two things there so sorry about that but i want to hit the record button to show you how you do record it's just going to be my voice talking uh, what you want to do to record is you click this button, which is your record button. Uh, you press command and then spacebar, and that will start your recording. You could also press F12 as your punch in, punch out button. Uh, so let's start with just uh, one recording of my vocal. It might sound a little weird to you guys, so because you're hearing it twice, but I'm going to click on the record. I'm going to press F12, and I'm going to speak for a, a few seconds. All right, here we are testing the record. There we go, we got it perfectly. And I took myself off of that, so it's no longer weird. But I'll play that back and you'll see that it's exactly what I just said, it's on that track. All right, here we are testing the record. And it's that simple, all right? So we just learned how to record. We arm the track, we hit F12 or Command Spacebar, and we start recording. Uh, the other recording option you do have is to make a punch, uh, which means you could start playback, then hit record, um, and then stop playback. Uh, this is for if the guitar player is coming in uh, halfway through the verse or something and you want to be playing back the drums or able to do that. Let me just quickly show you how to do that. Spacebar is your play stop button. So you'd hit your spacebar and then you'd hit F12 where you want the record to start and F12 where you want the record to end, and then you hit spacebar again to go ahead and stop the whole situation. So let's do that. We'll put the record on, spacebar, and then F12. Now I'm recording, F12, 
now I'm not. And then spacebar again to punch out. All right, so that is the basics of going ahead and opening up your first session and being able to record a little bit and understanding what this track does. So we have a mono track, which means it is only a single uh, thing on it. We could, If we had a stereo track, we could have two pieces of audio left and right on it rather than just one piece, which is up the middle now, but we could change that with our pans. We'll get into that uh, soon. Um, so it's a pretty simple point and click interface. You point wherever you want and you click and it moves your cursor over to that area. Um, in order to point and click, you need to be on your trim tool. It's right up here and it is F7 in case you want to use that shortcut. And I suggest you learn pretty much all of these shortcuts uh, as we speak about them. I mean, don't go memorizing all of them today. Uh, you'll see the ones you use a lot. Those are the ones you'll need to memorize. Uh, but F7 will be one of them that you'll definitely want to memorize. You need to go back between that and other tools a lot. Uh, so one more quick thing I want to show you. Uh, hit enter and it will return you right to the beginning. So that's your return button on your keyboard, uh, right, you know, to under your delete key. You just go ahead and press that. And you're right at the beginning with your cursor. So your cursor was here. And now your cursor is all the way at the beginning. So you don't have to go nuts trying to click the perfect beginning part of the song or anything like that. Uh, it's not necessary. And if you do want to get very specific about where you're clicking, go ahead and point and click right around six up here. You can see in your bars and beats, it'll be bar six. Click right around there and we'll zoom into it. Uh, our zooms are pretty simple. As long as you have this AZ button highlighted, uh, it allows you to do a lot of function keys without pressing any commands or anything like that. So we have our zoom with R and T. If it's not highlighted, that doesn't work. So make sure this is highlighted right over here. So we'll zoom in with T at bar six and we'll see how small we really get. Uh, we're talking about 0.05 of a second between here and here. So we could really zoom in and get very, very specific if we'd like to. Let's zoom back out. So remember, zoom is R and T. Those are really good shortcuts to know. We use them a lot. Uh, next, let's just quickly talk about uh, disk allocation. We recorded two things on this track, and they are on our computer right now. So if we go to setup disk allocation, we'll see that they are recording to my hard drive, my username on my desktop into the folder first sessions. Should be into the audio files of that. And you wanna make sure this is recording into the right spot. Something you might wanna do when you turn your first session on, start getting your tracks up. Make sure that they're recording into the folder you want them to be recording to. And let's go locate these two files and we'll see that they have on them what's on this track here so we truly understand uh, where the files are going. So I'll get this out of our way a bit and we'll go to this first session here. Perfect. And click our audio files. These are the two files we created on the new track. This is the first one. I'll play it back. This is not me talking. This is the file talking. All right, here we are testing the record. All right, so that is where your files go. Uh, make sure you, you take a good look at where they are going because uh, you don't want that going all over the computers. So something to look at right away when you set up some tracks. Just go ahead and just take a look. It doesn't take much time at all. Set up disk allocation. All right, they're all going to my first session folder. Real quick, simple thing. Uh, it'll stop you uh, from making any mistakes. It'll cost you a lot of time in the long run. Uh, but thanks for being with me on this one, and I'll see you on the next one.